What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and welcome to another Best Desk Tech Series episode. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the most amazing desk products that you can buy for the start of 2024. And I mean, this one is one that I'm really excited about because there are some really unique products that you can obviously see right here, including the Asus ZenBook Duo, some transparent headphones from Sweden that I recently checked out, a really unique mouse from a company that you've probably heard of, as well as some good desk accessories that are able to give you that spring refresh for your setup that you've been looking for. Whether you're trying to update your setup or create a new one entirely, this episode is one for you. And if you wanna check out some of the other episodes in this series, I'm gonna leave a link down below. And as always, if you wanna win an item from this video, just go ahead and drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below with what your favorite product in this episode is, as well as your Instagram username, and we'll be contacting you directly in two weeks. So now that it's spring season, I'm sure a lot of you are looking to kind of spice up your desk setup, redo it, or refresh it in time for the summer where in my case, I spent a lot of time at my desk during the summer, especially when I was in school. And a really good way to do that is with Bololo. And they sent me a whole bunch of accessories to be able to organize and optimize your setup. What I love about Bololo is that they have different parts and customizability that takes it to the next level that the competitors didn't have before. Taking a look at our setup specifically, what I love about the Bololo is that it has features such as a built-in headphone stand, as well as a built-in laptop stand. And I love how you can add it to the main stand in what they call the setup cockpit. All these accessories are very well made in Germany and it is a powder coated on two millimeter steel and it comes in different finishes, including American walnut, oak, and black stained oak. So if you wanna go with a full matte black setup, you can. You can also go with like a walnut one like I've done and also the oak option. And I also love how there's elements of felt and cork that is integrated to just give everything a nice soft touch finish and have the drawers and the different accessories that you add glide in and out very nicely. Going into the add-on specifically, you can have a phone stand, a laptop stand, a watch holder. And one thing that I really like about the accessory tray is that you can even add things such as like an Elgato stream deck onto the actual stand itself so it isn't just sitting on your table with a wire hanging out. The customization options are just limitless and I especially love the fact, as I mentioned, that you can just add all these different add-ons and accessories that are made specifically to work with this whole setup cockpit platform. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I'm gonna drop a link down below and you can really customize everything on their website, knowing that everything is high quality and made for the specific lineup. So the next piece of tech is a pair of headphones. And I always like to include a pair of headphones in a desk setup episode because sometimes we feature over ear, sometimes we go for in ear, and other times we focus on the noise cancellation aspect as well. And this right here is a headphone that I would say is very neutral and in the middle. It is the Mondo Defunct. And this right here has a very Scandinavian design to it, clean lines, minimalist to some degree, and it's available in black, a cream color, and this transparent one here. And being that we recently did a transparent tech episode, I figured this is one that I wanted to check out, and I think it looks amazing. It kind of reminds me of like Denon headphones where they have a very large ear cup, and the reason why is because it is a dual driver. It features a 40 millimeter driver and a 10 millimeter driver in each ear cup, just to help with the different dimensions and allow you to really get that separation throughout the different tones. But they're super comfortable, they seal well naturally, and if I was to go with an over-ear pair of headphones, this is usually the style that I would go for over the on-ear type. Little controls are on the side here, very intuitive, and you have the buttons as well that are very clearly marked, and you'll see the battery right here, and it gives you 45 hours of continuous playtime. I would say that that is pretty solid, and I think this is a good pair of headphones if you really enjoy the design and want a simple pair of headphones at your desk, say for video editing and potentially some music as well. So one of the most interesting pieces of desk tech is the ASUS ZenBook Duo. And ASUS is a company that has always pushed that innovation because I've checked out so many of their laptops over the years and 
This is their latest example of incredible design innovation for functionality as well as multi-purpose. From a design standpoint, it is really portable. It is a dual screen laptop that allows you to have it hinged up like this, utilize the keyboard and, and take advantage of functionality features such as having a presentation deck on the top and notes on the bottom to be able to enjoy the benefits of the dual screen or in my case, I like to video edit on one screen and watch like hockey or a movie on another screen or YouTube videos, really anything that you would like. And this computer allows you to use it in a laptop mode where you actually have the keyboard clicked in like this, or you can also use it in a dual display mode where you have it propped sideways with two vertical screens. The mode that I have it here where you can detach the keyboard, use it wirelessly, and essentially have a desktop-like setup on the go. And at the same time, you can also just have it propped up and enjoy it from a multimedia standpoint because of the kickstand that is built in. It's a really fun laptop and it's one that you can really find the productivity benefits over time. And a lot of people who are going to be buying this already know exactly what they're going to be using it for. So the next product in this episode is another one that is really productivity focused and that is the S600 from Anchorwork and it is a conferencing speaker and stand. It is the world's first speakerphone with voice print recognition and what that essentially is is a biometric technology that can verify and identify individuals based on your voice. On top of that, it can also block unexpected voices and sounds. It does this through a four mic array and the output of the stand wireless charger is 15 watts, which is the maximum for MagSafe. So it's able to charge your device relatively fast and it features a total battery life of up to 16 hours. And when it comes to the sound quality, it features incredible sound that has an up to five watt output that you can use for calls and for music if you want to use it additionally beyond conference calls and a 360 degree sound ensures everyone around you in the room is also able to hear what is going on. It is really convenient when it comes to adjusting the different viewing angles and you can use it in both like a horizontal and a vertical format. So now we're gonna go ahead and set up the voice print recognition on the Anchorwork S600. And the way this works is that it will have me read out a phrase and it will identify my voice and over time it will continue to improve that recognition. So let's just click this here. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a warm golden hue over the tranquil landscape. Steadily, bringing a gradual calmness to the surroundings. The trees. So now the voice recognition is being processed and from there it has built a profile to be able to identify my voice specifically in the scenario of conference calls and that is one of the key features of the S600. So this is just a demonstration of the voice thing and um, this is where you, you can identify print, that it is able to separate voice. my voice and everyone else is kind of blocked out. And if you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself, I'm going to drop a link down below and a huge thanks to Anchorwork for sponsoring this video. So as you guys know, I've been checking out a lot of different keyboards lately in the realm of productivity and gaming. And one really unique one that I've been checking out recently is from Lofree. This is one that I really caught my eye because I saw a couple of my friends have it as well. And it's because it embraces modern technology and integration as well as retro design. That has really been the trend of things that I enjoy lately from my car to the tech side of things. And this right here is the low free block and it uses full palm switches that are customized by TTC and it is a self lubricating switch that can be easily hot swappable. It takes you back to the classics with brawn elements including smooth knobs for volume controls, mode shift, and this orange is what they call an Hermes leather. So it gives like that nice color pop to it and an otherwise cream color. And I just like the little deviated color changes here from like the cream to like a lighter color. And you also have great customizability when it comes to the angles as well. So you can see there's a standard angle and you can also prop it up a little bit higher and adjust the position accordingly. And so I find that having it on a hinge is always really nice when it comes to the typing angle and it has a 22 millimeter travel. I would say the amount of travel is more than the typical mechanical keyboard that I've tried out that is more focused towards productivity, but I personally really like it. 
You have a full number pad on the right side and a little display indicator on the side that shows you important status information. And it's just a nice touch that is also featured on this mouse that I'm gonna talk about in a second. On top of that, the other great feature is that it has two different connectivity modes, including wireless and cable. And it also has a white backlight. So it's just a really classic design that is very Dieter Rams inspired. And that is what went into this, hence its name, the Back to the Classics. This right here is the matching touch PBT mouse. And this is one that really caught my eye initially. It has like the same keycap style design for the clicker here, as well as a very long scroll wheel. And there's a small status indicator right here as well. Even though it looks like a casual productivity mouse, it has 4,000 DPI in sensitivity, and you can adjust that. And it'll show that information right here as well. But once again, I love the orange touch. I also like how the receiver is integrated right here as well. It is also really good on different surfaces and it charges via USB type C. And so if you want a nice wireless mechanical setup, then this is definitely a cool option to consider. And it goes really well with some of my white sets. So as you guys have probably noticed by now, a lot of the accessories that I pick for the desk are not just for the desk. You can bring them around with you, enjoy it, and bring it back to your desk because it is a nice decor piece. And this is another one that I've wanted for quite a few years. It is the Balmuda the speaker, and they make the toasters and other accessories. And I've been checking out the toaster as well. But this right here is a lamp that also syncs with the music and has a 77 millimeter driver upwards firing speaker. So you're able to enjoy music at your desk or wherever you decide to bring it. And the light inside will illuminate to give it that campfire effect. It has different effects that you're able to kind of play around with, whether it's one that pulses, syncs, or gives you like a natural camera flicker. And I just really like to bring products like this out into the terrace and enjoy. So. This is just like a really well-designed Japanese product. I absolutely love it. So this right here is the Ember Travel Mug 2 Plus, and it is a product that we've checked out before, but the good thing about this one is that you can actually bring it around with you everywhere because it is like the typical coffee mug. This is one that comes in at a relatively high price point, and I feel like it is not really for everyone, because someone like myself would probably lose it, but the good thing is that it does have Find My iPhone capability installed. And it just sits on a little pad on your desk if you're using it during the daytime, and it will keep your drink warm for the entire day. You can set the temperature range through the slider and the little display on the front, but if you have it away from the charger, it will keep your drink piping hot for about three hours. If you're looking for a higher quality option though, this right here is the Edifier QD35 tabletop speaker. But there is a specific feature that I really like about it. First off, it has a 40 watt speaker output and high res audio. So the sound quality is really good. You can see the dual driver setup on the front, but if you have a dark setup or like an RGB or gaming setup, it's just another one of these accessories that can complement every single thing in the space really nicely. I really like how it just has the lighting effects you're able to play around with. And on top of that, it is also a really good speaker. Another feature that I also really like is that it has a GAN charger that is built in that gives out 35 watts for fast charging. So if you want to go ahead and plug a device in, it will be able to charge that at your desk. And so it is a multi-function accessory that takes up valuable space in your desk, but at least is able to do multiple things, not only creating a lighting effect, but also giving you a speaker option and also being able to charge your device, such as your smartphone, laptop, or headphones at the same time. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And I know we checked out a lot of cool items. And if you wanna see a more in-depth video of any of them, let me know down in the comment section below. And also let me know if there's any other products that I should check out for future episodes. And I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.